Okay, what is up everyone? What you see right here is a Dyson DC-07, specifically the animal version, and and this is, I'm going to give you like a little walkthrough on how I acquired this machine, and also going to give you an overview of it, and then I'm also going to demonstrate it running for you guys. So, anyway, how I acquired this machine is actually different than the rest of them. So, this vacuum cleaner, I've actually known this one quite, almost my entire life. I've seen this one almost my whole life. And the thing about this was, it was my grandmother's. And the sad truth on how I got it is, she unfortunately passed away last December, or like during, like right before Christmas. And one of the things I wanted was the vacuum cleaner, since I was mainly the only one to use it ever, <laughs> other than my dad, but then again, that's different. <laughs> so I've used this thing several times over the years, so it's not new to me in any way. I've known it for quite a while. It's just that we have it in our house now. And I wanted it because it meant quite a lot to me. I knew it meant a lot to her too, since I would always do it for her every couple of weeks, whenever she felt like she needed it done, I will do it for her. <laughs> and this is a machine that I used upstairs. Now, downstairs I had my own machine that I didn't really care that much about that I sold off in the basement area. But <laughs> this was the upstairs machine and she used it. She used to use it every now and again, but she got so bad to a point where I had to do it for her. <laughs> and I was going out every weekend anyway, so kind of was a good thing. <laughs> So a little overview on this machine, you probably know the classic DC-07s. Has the attachments back here. Now for some reason the purple clip on the inside here is missing. So of course the car is two or falls off every single time. I use it, but I try to keep it in there the best I could. And if it falls off too many times, I just leave it out the rest of the time that I use it. And then the... Now, are these machines actually a very simple path for the dirt to go? But they don't clean very well. So, this is where the brush roll is located, under, under here. And usually, the dirt will go through here and into the bin. But these machines do not agitate very well. So, how the dirt goes is, it, like, like, like you show me here, it goes this way. But it only cleans the surface dirt. It doesn't actually clean deep down really that well. So, the machine doesn't really clean deep down that well. Only the surface. That which that's because of a design flaw I'm going to show you. In just a second here. So anyway, continue on. <laughs> so this is a latch that you would use to disconnect this half from this half of the bin, the cyclone for the bin itself. What you do is you take it off and this is like I, I think this is the only Dyson model I know of that has a latch down heel. Usually it's a button that you would press right here. It will be on this side, but this is like the only one that has it on this side since the way the bin works. Now, of course, this one says filter must be washed every six months, but this one doesn't have the date down here that you would put the filter coming on. Now, I know this isn't really the best cleanliness, but the condition of it is in pretty good shape. Now, this is the second revision of bin, which means that the top cyclone holes are larger because the problem with the 07s when they first came out is that they were too small, like this. And they kept on getting clogged up, so Dyson thought it would be a good idea to make it bigger. Not really sure what that does, but I'm sure it does absolutely nothing, and it continued happening. So, now, on the first revision models, this down here is the color machine itself. On the second revision models, it's clear. But, then again, there is some dirt in there since I do use this machine once in a while. I probably will pull apart cycles and clean the insides of them. But, which will help, but I say it won't really do much because I think I'll clean it off anyway. Now, this is where the filter is. Yes, I know the filter is actually a little bit dirty. I have yet to clean it. I'm going to be cleaning this whole machine out soon anyway. So, so I'm going to put that filter as part of this. Okay, make, make sure it, make sure it lines up here properly. Which, if it doesn't, you have to put it off and put it up. I'll do it real quick. Okay, I have to make sure that it lines up okay. Otherwise, if it's too low, then it doesn't make a right seal and it doesn't really clean the best. 
Anyway. So now we'll show you the other side. And this is going to be where the design flaw is. And that is what sh this down here. So first of all, I use an ultra long wide sole plate here. I just believe the holes are smaller, they'll clean better. Second of all, they use a brush roll that is really stiff, but the bristles don't obtrude out that far. So, and plus having all this hair wrapped around it, though, it's not going to really do much anyway, but I would still want to machine for you guys so you can see it. And third of all, the supposed self-adjusting height, which is just a tilting thing here, doesn't really do much either because, then again, it gets stuck in this position all the time. Well, this is raised up off the carpet. And you have to... And what I always do when I use these is I push it down here. And it helps to make a better seal on the carpet. Now, if you're wondering, here's the model number. Sticker for if you're wondering. This is a US model if you're wondering. So, the only problem with this particular one is these wallows do eventually get caught up over time. I might probably try to take the real wallow out and try to see if I can potentially get it unstuck, but again, that just happens over time. Two down here works just fine. So here works a bit. So here's a bit finicky or whatever, but the real one is just very hard to turn. But again, I don't really use this thing on hold on Floyd anyway, so then again, why is it even metal? <laughs> okay. So, she also did have the turbo brush, or like the turbine head. <laughs> turbo brush and turbine head were practically the same thing. And the, uh, all the other attachments, but I have them stored away right now. Yes, ignore what's on the TV. I was listening to music on it. Yes, I, I do do that. So anyway, gonna go ahead and put the phone on the tripod here. Yes, I use my phone to record. I don't actually have a camera yet, but that's in my future. Same for YouTube items is an app or camera that I can use to record videos. <laughs> and I'm going to run this machine for you guys. Now, keep in mind, you guys may have seen this machine before in one of my previous videos. So, you might have seen this machine before. This isn't the first time I've read it in videos. So, maybe you've seen it one other time in my grandma's house when I was using it there to clean up her house and her basement. I I got with my own vacuum already, so I was using this one in the basement. We literally took it home that exact same day. <laughs> so we brought it back to this house on the exact same day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Make sure, make sure you have enough to record a map. Actually. <laughs> just around the whole thing. <laughs> now, I do notice is that the cord is on this side rather than on this side. But the problem is that I'm left-handed, so it kind of goes over a little bit. <laughs> But then again, I'm not really outweighed about it in a second anyway. So anyway, we are going to put the machine down. And usually what I have to do is I have to make sure it's all the way up. And you have to make sure that the thing here is pressed down. Provided it's pressed down, I can proceed to kind of backslide it more. And here we go. Now this machine is not that loud, but... As you know, the cycles of these DCO 7s are always louder than the motor. <laughs> Since this is the second revision, it's quite loud in there, so. Anyway, here we go.
guys want to hear at it. Just copy it, just with it, don't leave it. No, great, I'm not really all that worried about it. Good. Seems like it's okay right now. I say. Well, eventually I have to replace the clutch belts, but that'll be a big job. I'm not really all about this because... I barely ever go to use this machine anyway. That machine, gonna wrap up the cord and uh, give you my final thoughts on it. Oh, yeah, and whatever I do is I kind of push it back like that and it goes right back into the made up right position. <laughs> it, it's a design issue on these, <laughs> but anyway, I'll go ahead and put it back and wrap it back up and I'll go ahead and give you my final thoughts on this machine. So, how do I think of this machine? Well, it doesn't really clean carpets the best. So, some of you might think, oh, yeah, I'm gonna sell this. Actually, this is a machine that I'm probably never going to sell because it has sentimental value to me. Because it, the fact was, is that it was my grandmother's and it meant so much to me that I wanted it from from her house since I was really the only one that ever used the thing. <laughs> so, anyway, if you're kind of wondering. Oh, and here's the silly thing about these DCO services. This is Lifetime HEPA filter. Lifetime as in... Life of the machine is not quite true. <laughs> because I am going to be replacing a helper photo as part of the claim eventually, but I have to acquire one first since Dyson doesn't sell parts for these. <laughs> they eventually sell helper photos for these, but to get to them, you have to figure out a way to open up the top part, which isn't very easy. <laughs> I wish they made it easier to open the top, then you can get to the helper photo super easily on these, but. <laughs> I am going to change out the hammer filter as part of the cleaning since it's old. It's the same age as machine, which I think this might be a... This machine might... I don't be... This machine is almost as old as I am, so... She had a cubby there before, and she replaced it with this. I uh, see. If it's because the cubby went out, she could have just had the cubby repaired, it would be just fine. And it will still be going. But anyway. This is the end of this video, so... Anyway... We all have a good rest of your day, and as always, peace out, everyone. Bye. Remember, I love you guys. Stay positive, stay safe, and see you next time.